So the other day when I was making my um, video on where to get models um, for Lumion and even things like Blender, uh, I actually didn't know about this website. So this one kind of blew my mind um, because not only are these SketchUp files um, that you can download for free, but they're unwrapped and textured um, in a way that makes me think that this was modeled in something like 3ds max and then converted uh using transmuter into sketchup but regardless they work fantastically for not only lumion but blender um and finding sketchup models that actually go into blender well um that are unwrapped properly is extremely rare so when i found this i was kind of mind blown that i hadn't come across this before um like for example so this model here um here's just a you know a pretty good looking couch um we can go to uh the source here so um, i believe it takes you to uh, a facebook page here um this person uh sm3d models absolutely uh incredible um incredible stuff and so we basically just need to find uh the couch that we wanted and i think we keep scrolling down here um even if i don't find that particular couch there's something that uh i'm sure we'll be able to kind of find that we want to use um, yeah, so here it is right here. Go to Mediafire. And now I've already downloaded it. Uh, it's only 21 megabytes, which is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, download this. Uh, I believe it's right here. You want to click that one. I know there's a bunch of downloads here, but this is the one you want. Um, and then so once I have basically um, unpacked it, I go into uh, into this folder here and excuse my uh, messy desktop. I feel like I keep uh, pile and stuff on that I have to do and then I just keep forgetting to delete it um, But uh, here's the file here. So it comes with the textures um, This one should not be there And let me just open this up. So then this is like kind of the thumbnail it comes with um, and Then I'm not sure what that is. It's just a PDF, but if we uh, open this up, which I already have it um, kind of on deck here then um, we can kind of take a look at what this model is like. And now right off the bat, very clean. Um, I like the fact they put it all in one layer. I, I hate when you download models and they're all in these like messy layers. Um, but if we click on one of these and we kind of might have to go in a couple groups here, but basically if we go in on this, this is actually very clean topology for SketchUp. Um, I think it in total, this has like a uh, hundred thousand faces, which again, for a model, that's this detailed and well done. That's a that's a pretty good number. Um, and I will be able to actually show you in Lumion uh, a little bit more about this. But yeah, this is what makes me think it was done in something like Transmuter because everything is just like the faces are too well, um, quite frankly, they're just too well done. Like I don't think you could model something like this in SketchUp and then unwrap it. It would just take so long. Um, the only issue that I could find at all with this model is like right here. Um, it seems like there's kind of like a weird unwrapping for this um, if we kind of go in here. so. Um, we'll turn on the hidden geometry. So these two faces here are a little weird, but I'm sure you could fix that up really easily um, with something like through paint or like sketch UV. I'm just not even going to bother because it's it's such a small thing that it's like, you know, I might just mess things up a little bit more and it's, it's so minor. But um, there are a lot more models to this website. So if we, we go back on here now, this is just one particular couch. But what I thought was so cool is that you could go to like, I don't know, let's say we want... Uh, is there something like kitchen? Um, I think we just type in kitchen. Yeah, so you get like a full set here. So you click on this, like you could basically get this entire model to bring in Illumion. And while there are some things that I, I'm, I would probably change, the actual modeling itself is very well done, especially for SketchUp. Um, so this one is a little more believable that it was done in SketchUp. Um, but I just think that these are so much better than the 3D warehouse that this is how you should probably be getting models and things like that for Lumion. Um, if you only use SketchUp, I, I really don't think you should use the 3D warehouse um, because yeah, I was just really impressed by this. Um, but if we just hop back into this one for a second. So while I'm kind of just letting that uh, kind of open up and download, I am gonna pop open Lumion so we can look at that couch because there is actually a texture that they just added to Lumion that works really well at explaining kind of how the UV maps work. Um, and yeah, I mean, if th these, um, these just work so well. Like I'm, I'm just shocked by this because um, I will just take it into Blender for a moment too, just to kind of show um, how reasonable um, like the UV mapping is. Like I'm sure that we could even try and use some of these in our projects, um, especially if we're going like SketchUp to Blender for something because it's just uh, just works so well. Um, so I think maybe we'll do the Farnsworth house for this. 
um, Lumion. Yeah, we're just loading it up here. Sorry, I'm hopping back and forth a lot. I, I don't want to make this like too, too long of a tutorial. And I just wanted people to kind of see, you know, how, how um, impressive this is. So I think I actually, yeah, I had just uh, pulled this in already. So what I did is I went in here and I put on um, this new texture here, this carpet. And what I love so much about this is since it's in the, um, like that grid pattern, it works extremely well for determining um, the UV unwrapping for something. So as you can see here, this all, like all the fabric looks very, it just looks very good. Um, some of the things here, like they are a little bit big, but that's not that, you know, it's not really a huge deal. But why this is so important is that if you had something like this carpet or something in um, in Lumion, it just means that you have more control over um, how it's going to look. You just need to make sure that you put it on the map scale imported. If you don't do that, it's going to mess it up. But as you can see, like it, it just looks extremely uh, realistic, like it, all the fabric works normally. And that's that's kind of the issue that I have with Lumion uh, most of the time. It's that if you're getting something from like the SketchUp warehouse and it's not um, unwrapped properly, then Lumion can have a really hard time because if you look at what happens when I do this, like I import the map scale or I don't use the imported map scale and you can see like Lumion tries to unwrap it itself and that doesn't always work the best. Um, so you want to have it so that the map scale comes in as imported. But yeah, so for like, again, for a sofa, like I'm just kind of surprised by this. Like I'll put on some, uh, some nice fabric here and we'll kind of see how this looks. Um, something I've kind of found out too is like, you don't want to use a displacement. I find that that just like, it almost never works. Um, and this one might be a little bit small, but I think you kind of, you'll get the point. So I'm going to turn the relief up maybe just so it's something like that. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just start, you know, pasting it on here. We can kind of see how this would look with just a Lumion material on it. Okay. So it looks pretty good. If we go into rendered mode here, Oh, that's not a very good example. Um, so I'll just throw on like realistic and then just tweak a couple things. Uh, real skies. I don't like that. This is going to be cloudy. No, uh, clear maybe. Yeah. So that looks a little bit better. Um, but if we kind of zoom in here, like, as you can see, the fabric is going uh, the correct ways. Um, I think it looks really good. Like there are some, I guess there are some areas that could be a little bit, uh, maybe that's just like loomy on how it's rendering it. But yeah, that's a very impressive model that you can get for free. Like that's better than the majority of the stuff you're going to get on the 3d warehouse. So I highly uh, recommend you check that out. Now, what I want to do um, one last time too, just quickly, is the Blender one. And then I'm going to... Um, and yeah, sorry, I know I'm kind of scatterbrained right now. I just want to... There is a few things I just want to go through. So if we go import the SketchUp scene here, um, and I go SketchUp and the Full House Victoria. So this should go fairly quickly. Um, and then I'm just going to go into wireframe mode here. And so... Yeah, it's uh, to have like a hundred thousand um, triangles in a couch that that is like this well done is actually a pretty reasonable number. Like it may sound like a lot, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Now, obviously, you would have to put on some uh, some different textures just because this one only has a color map. Um, the only issue I really could see with these models at all, as I mentioned, is like right here the unwrapping is a little bit weird. But that's not really that big of a deal. Like you can just easily hide that. And then just because of how Blender works with the shade smoothing, there are some kind of like um, you get this sort of like the dark part here and you could put on sh uh, shade flat, but you kind of get these like, uh, how do I say it? Like you can just sort of see like the lines there. So I think it is better with shade smooth and you won't even notice that if you bring it into something like Lumion. Um, I don't even really know if you'd notice that in like a rendered mode. Um, so it's, it's not even really worth, uh, being too concerned about, but yeah, this is so well done, um, that I think that these could be used in basically any software, especially SketchUp. Um, so I really wish that I had mentioned this, uh, during my video the other day, like all these ones are really good. So maybe I will actually just stick to those for now, just cause that might take a little bit longer. Um, but we'll bring in another model just as kind of a, uh, example. So like, let's try this one. Um, exclusive premium. Okay. So maybe that one's not free. Um, this should be pretty good. Let's try this one. So I'll open this up. I'm just going to copy and paste this stuff out, put it in my, uh, I'm going to go to my SketchUp folder that I made for this. I'll just paste these in here. I'll just replace that stuff for now. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's close this out and I'll close this out. Um, and I will open up this file. 
like I said, I'll maybe I'll make a video about doing one of those bigger ones when I find it. I don't really want to jump through that many hoops to download something. Um, just because it would take a bit of time, but maybe I'll try and find a couple and share links to them that work pretty well. So with this one too, I haven't, I've, obviously I haven't tested this one, but uh, you know, I think that this one would work pretty well too. So let's try and import this into Lumion. All right, so you know the model itself looks pretty good. The fabric is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit flat. So let's try bringing this in and see how this uh, looks again. So we'll change the map scale to imported. Yeah, and this one is, it, it'll be fine for leather. Obviously, that one is a little bit bigger. And if you want to even uh, use it for like, like the Lumion seems to be unwrapping this one a lot better. Um, so I think it'd be fine to do it with that. You just kind of have to play around with the map scale. If you're bringing in a model for the first time that you haven't used, this is something I really recommend you do do. Um, because it it just helps you understand like how like how well it's unwrapped. Um, that's what that's actually kind of what I like this fabric the most about. I don't really use it that much in my in my renders, but I love using it for this because you can just see everything. Um, and so let's bring in like a leather and just kind of see how that works. Right. Um, so yeah, just as you know, right off the bat, how that comes in, that's. It's pretty good. Um, you can make the map scale obviously imported, it, but for this, it's not the best. This one works a lot better. Um, so maybe something like that is pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna change those for now. And then maybe we'll make these threads like, make it like a white, yeah. So that's a pretty cool design right there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with how that, uh, how that kind of worked out. Um, yeah, for, for a SketchUp to, to Lumion, like, to work like that, that's really mind-blowing to me. So um, I'll find some pretty cool models on here, and I'll also leave a link to that person um, that made these two models uh, because they have done a fantastic job, so I want you guys to kind of see their work. Um, but that will be uh, it for the video. Um, I'll, I'll probably make more, as I said, um, just kind of focusing on things like doing, like, entire, like, kitchens or something like that from this because... Um, I think it's it's good to see like a workflow that's only SketchUp to Lumion um, just because I feel like I don't get to do that too, too often since for large scenes like that, I don't really like using SketchUp. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could help me out and hit that red button below. Um, if you are subscribed, thanks again for uh, helping support the channel. Um, and I'll say uh, happy holidays and I will see you soon. Have a good night.